back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Miranda, and we are going through the book called Jesus Calling. So I go through my nightly devotions, and I give my thoughts, my life experience as I read through these, just things that are triggered in my brain as I read these devotions, and I share with you guys. So this is May 3rd. Tonight's devotion starts off with, you cannot serve two masters. If I am truly your master, you will desire to please me above all others. If pleasing people is your goal, you will be enslaved to them. Oof. I don't know about you guys, but I, I can be a people pleaser at times. I'm not generally, um, I guess it really depends on the situation, but it definitely speaks to me. It shows me in a different light how people pleasing is detrimental and how you are putting the pleasing of other people above pleasing God. And that should never be the case. He should be come first always in everything. So to go on, it says, people can be harsh taskmasters when you give them this power over you. If I am the master of your life, I will also be your first love. Your serving me is rooted and grounded in my vast, unconditional love for you. The lower you bow down before me, the higher I lift you up into intimate relationship with me. The joy of living in my presence outshines all other pleasures. I want you to reflect my joyous light by living in increasing intimacy with me. So this is my goal. I just, I want to be so deeply intertwined and walking with God in my life that people can just see it. That's what I, that's what my goal is. I want to shine so brightly for God that other people see it through me. That's my goal. That's what I strive for. That's what I reach for. And I'm not always successful, but I do my best. So let's read the verses that go with this. There's four of them. The first one is Matthew 6, 24. No one can serve two masters. Either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. The next one is Revelation 2, 4. Oof, the book of Revelation. Yet I hold this against you. You have forsaken your first love. The next one is Ephesians 3, 16 and 17. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you being rooted and established in love. The next one is Psalm 16, 11. You have made known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. All right, guys, that's what I have for you tonight. I thank you for being here. I hope that you're enjoying these devotions every night. If you are, make sure you hit that notification bell, give it a like, subscribe, and it'll tell you when these are uploaded. They upload every night at 6. Thanks again for being here. I'm really happy that I get to share these with you guys every night. We will see you in the next video, and God bless.